today we'll be discussing a few postures for hormonal balance so if you have pcos pcod endometriosis adenomyosis maybe chocolate cyst any menstrual disorder irregular periods acne hirsutism that is excessive hair inside the body you are a female and you have excessive hair at your face maybe chest abdomen or excessive hair fall these all problems are related to hormonal balance so if there is hormonal imbalance you must be suffering from those so we'll be doing some postures that will help you to come out of it before we start if you haven't subscribed the channel please go and subscribe the channel also like and share i always look forward for your comments let me know that which all postures you find it easy which all postures you find it difficult believe you me with practice the postures get better every day let's start coming up on the feet raise the heels up push your knees wide make a namaste at your chest if possible try closing your eyes Hold the posture for some time. Open your eyes. Take your hands down. Drop your feet down. Feet around a foot apart. Feet firm down. Let's do malas and pushing your knees wide using elbows. Make a namaste at your chest. Look forward. Keep pushing the knees wider. Keep your back straight. Eyes are closed. Breathe. Keep holding it for 30 to 60 seconds. Rise, drop your hands down. Let's sit in Vajrasana. We'll do Supta Vajrasana, coming front side of the mat. Keeping your big toes together, take your hands back side down. Drop your elbows down one at a time. Pushing your hands forward, take the top of the head down. Try keeping your knees together, palms up on the thighs. Hold it there. Every posture you need to hold for 30 to 60 seconds. Try keeping the knees together and down. Without a fumble, gently come up, sit straight up. Let's do Ushrasan, the camel pose now. Standing straight on the knees, knees hip distance apart, feet just back side of the knees. Take your hands forward parallel to the shoulders. Roll the right hand back to hold the right heel. Roll the left hand back to hold the left heel. Push the pelvis forward, expand your chest high up, join your shoulder blades and look up side. Keep holding. Breathe. Keep your eyes open. Slowly roll the left hand forward. Roll the right. Sit down, this one at a time, take your legs in front. We shall do Vakrasana now. Sitting, keep your back straight. Let's bend your right leg in. Now, your right knee is up, take the right hand back side down, raise the left hand up. 
Take the left hand across the knee, hold the foot or maybe the ankle. Look back over the right shoulder. Left leg straight. Back straight and twisted. Breathe very deep. Breathe. Breathing deeper. the hand, relax, make the right leg straight, pull the left leg in, raise the right opposite hand to the knee, left knee is up, right hand up, take it across the knee, hold the foot or maybe the ankle, look back over the left shoulder this time, breathing is again very deep, keep holding, keep twisting, up and down. Let's lie down flat on the stomach. We shall do a variation of cobra pose that is upward facing dog. Taking our palms close to the rib cage, feet flat. Inhale to raise your head and chest up. Raise your knees and thighs also up. Look up side. Keep holding. Your knees and thighs both are up. Slowly come down. Easy. Next one is Dhanurasana. You need to bend your both legs in. Pull the ankles from outside. Inhale, raise your legs up, raise your head and chest up. Stay upside. Then we roll back, sit between the heels, forehead down in front, sit in the child's pose for a while, relax the back, relax the head also. Up, sit straight, sit straight, sit comfortable, one at a time, take your legs in front, let's lie down flat on the back, we shall do sarvangas and the shoulder stand, let's raise your both legs up, raise your back also, support your back with your hands, stay up. Try being in one straight line from shoulders to feet, feet and face relaxed. Hold it there. Sarvangasana, as the name suggests, it's very good posture for all the body parts. Your thyroid gland is being stimulated. So it will keep you away from hypo or hyperthyroid. Little extra blood is going into the brain. So it will nourish the pituitary gland, which is the master gland responsible for hormonal balance.
you should be staying in the posture for one to three minutes. From there, slowly drop your feet back side down to go to Halasan. Dropping your hands down on the ground. Knees are straight and high. Pull the abdomen. Slowly raise the legs up, supporting your back with your hands, bend your knees, drop your back down, drop the legs down, relax, relax for a while, Shavasan, let the circulation of blood go normal. Let's do the fish pose now, Matasyasan, join your feet together. Let's bend your right leg in, place the right foot at your left thigh, left foot at your right thigh, knees down. Now pressing your elbows down, raise your shoulders and upper back and take the crown of the head down on the mat. Holding your big toes with your hands, let's try touching your elbows down. Stay, your both shoulders and upper back are up. Keep pushing the chin back. Again, to stimulate the thyroid. Slowly using elbows or maybe palms, release the head. Release the legs also. Slowly turning sideways. Let's sit straight up. Sit comfortable. We shall do the last posture. That is Shirshasan, the headstand. You need to come down this way. Keeping your elbows a little apart, forearms also down, interlock the fingers. Keep your half head down on the palms, half head down on the mat. Slowly raise the legs up and gently come up and slowly raise the legs upside. Keep holding. This posture also you should be holding for around a minute. But with practice, gradually raise the practice up. Slowly come down. Let's lie down flat for a while, keeping a double fist, keep it in under, on the fist actually, look up, relax for a while, let the blood go down from the head. Slowly turning sideways, let's sit straight up. And if you are a beginner, let us show you the easy variation of Sarvangasan, that is the shoulder stand. Please lie down. You need to be pushing yourself very close to the wall, taking your hip region, almost touching the wall. Slowly raise the legs up, down. Raise the middle body up. So this is the basic variation. If you are not able to do Sarvangasan or headstand, so you should place the feet on the wall and raise your middle body higher. Again, you should be holding it for one to three minutes. And if you're not able to do this much also, so there is another very easy variation in that your whole back and hip region is also down, just the legs are up. 
that will also give a good benefit to you hold it again for 1 to 3 minutes so basic this is the basic one and for the shirshasan that is headstand if you are afraid if you don't have support if you are not in practice so you should be doing it always against the wall facing the wall take your elbows down forearms down so if you fall down there is wall always back side to support go a little more closer to the wall now do it elbows a little apart and slowly raise the legs up so if you fall down back side there is always wall to give you a nice support i have made a video to how to do shirshasan if you find it difficult please go through that you need to be holding shirshasan for around a minute so i hope the postures that was being done by me and tuhina will help you out coming out of the hormonal balance regular practice you will do this practice every day for around half an hour to one hour that will surely will make you come out of this hormonal imbalance problem please share like and comment on the video that always encourages me to make new stuff for you thank you so much